Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market and uh, this was is going to be my uh, daily forecast for Monday, 5th of October 2020. If you'd like to su support our channel, you can hit the subscriber button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. So we are going to look at these uh, five uh, uh, currency pairs. We'll start out by looking at the uh, Great British Pound and the US Dollar. And at this moment, we have found resistance at the 40 exponential moving average. We have been trading between the 100 exponential moving average. We can draw it up here, this line here, and the 40 exponential moving average for the last, uh, we can say, one, two, four trading days or five trading days, mainly the last three trading days. So at this moment, this market just doesn't know where to go. Um, there is a lot of um, negativity in the uh, British uh, eco economy at the moment, both with Brexit, with Corona, with the economy as a whole. So, and then we also have the US dollar appreciating. So at this point, this is a really difficult market to trade and it, technically needs to make a sign where we will go. We have the 50 moving average just above here at the 30, uh, 13.04. And we have all of these um, uh, moving averages, the 200, the 300, and the 150 moving average underneath. So if we were, break, were to break through the 50 moving average, then of course we will go to these highs. If we were to break through these 50 uh, these moving averages, and then we'll go much lower. We'll even go as low as uh, 12, uh, 28, and so on. It is a really difficult market to trade at this moment, or this pair is extremely difficult to trade at the moment. Any bad news that can come at any time from the Brexit and Brexit uh, negotiations will, of course, affect this market significantly. We have also created, are about to create this trend line here that we technically need to break through in order to also go higher. This is a market I'm staying far away from. Uh, I used to trade this all the time. However, at this point, it is it is almost hopeless to trade this market due to the massive uncertainty uh, that is in this market. If you look just at the technical indicators, it is looking promising. However, I don't expect this market to um, explode to the upside. It may well be, but it may as well be that will go significantly down. The MACD has crossed the signal line three trading days ago. It's, uh, it's indicating bullish momentum. The RSI is uh, looking quite bullish as well. And the same goes for the Stochastic. MACD, in the, the Bollinger Band, is technically right in the middle here. And there is, well, you technically just have to wait where this market thing will go at this point. If we look at the US dollar yen, then we now we have broken down quite significantly on Friday. We uh, gave... Um, we gained some ba something back in the end of the trading session, but this was expected. We have been trading within this channel now for uh, for months, and this is probably one of the most predictable uh, tr uh, trades you can do with these five uh, currency pairs. Um, we have found resistant at the hundred uh, moving average. We have found resistant at this. Uh, uh, this uh, trend line, we have also found resistance at the exponential moving averages and the 50 moving average. So, if we get uh, if you get close towards the 100 moving average, it is almost a certainty that this market will basically drop. If we get close to the 50 moving average, it's also a fairly certainty that this market will drop at some point, like we did on Friday. So this is not a very encouraging sign. This is a sign that this market is about to turn around and head towards uh, this lower um, or this low support trend line. Um, I do expect this market to go within the next uh, few trading days. 
probably next week or or, the, or or two weeks from now, all the way down to 103. If we were to break up, then we have all of these um, resistant area here that will act as resistant. If you look at technical indicators, they are not promising. The MACD is about to turn around, um, indicating bearish momentum. It will cross the signal line probably within uh, the next two or three trading days. The RSI is also looking like it's about to turn around, indicating bearish momentum. And the stochastic has turned around, crossed the signal line, and it is indicating that it's going to um, push this market lower. Um, the Mac, the bullish band is technically in the middle, so so not a lot of things to look after there. But I do expect this market to go and uh, test this uh, this trend line before bouncing up like we have done in recent months. A euro, US dollar, we rallied up towards the 20 exponential moving average and then gave away most of those gains. Um, similar to the Great British Pound, the US dollar, this market doesn't really seem like it knows where it's going to go at this point. Most likely, we'll go towards the 100 moving average again and then bounce and then just trade in between sideways in between the 50 maximum high to the lows of the 100 moving average um, for the foreseeable future. If we were to break through the 100 moving average, then we have the 150 moving average at 11.39. If we were to break through the 50 moving average, then we'll go and test this entire area here that we did uh, in the previous months. If you look at the technical indicators, the MACD looks like it's about to cross the signal line. However, I do expect it to just turn around here because we'll go lower towards the 100 moving average and then probably bounce from there. Uh, the RSI is looking quite healthy. The stochastic looks like it has um, it is about to turn around and it's going to try um, it's going to cross the signal line within the next two or three trading sessions. And the Bollinger Band seems like it has found resistance at this moving average here. Yes, at this point, we are trading between the maximum, uh, the highest here of the 50 moving average to the lows of the 100 moving average. So, well, 200 pips there, there above. So if you look at the U, yeah, Aussie dollar, US dollar, we found resistance on Thursday at the 50 moving average, and it looks like then we basically turned around. Um, this market, similar to the Euro and the US and the Great British Pound, doesn't really know where to go at this point. Should we go up and break through the 50 moving average? That looked really unlikely. This candlestick here is very very bearish so i'm i would bet that we'll go back towards the, the 0 0.7.70 line or support area if we break through that then we have the 150 moving average just underneath here at the 0 0.69 maybe I just don't favor the upside at this point. There's it, we it, this looked like a massive um, resistant at the 50 moving average, so most likely we'll go lower from here. If you look at the technical indicators, the MACD hasn't crossed the signal line. It's indicating that it's going to, but I do believe that we'll just turn around here and go lower. RSI is well fairly flat, and the stochastic is fairly bullish still. But I do believe on Monday we'll just turn around here and the same will go that happen to the stochastic. Um, the, the bullish band, we hit resistance at this, uh, this moving average here. If you look at US dollar, Canadian dollar, we found support at the um, uh, 40 exponential moving average, bounce from there. And at this point, we are just above the 20 exponential moving average. There was massive resistance at this level at 1341 and we have the lows here of uh, 1299 so 
at this point, we may go up towards this 100 moving average, maximum of uh, 1331, um, I believe, before we basically uh, turn around and go lower. The, the technical indicators are very bearish for this market at the moment. You look down at MACD, it's indicating that we'll cross the signal line, indicating bearish momentum. The same goes with the RSI, and so is the stochastic, and the Bollinger Band is also indicating that we'll most likely go towards these lower, the lower Bollinger Band, which is around uh, 1310. Yes, this is probably a market every time this rallies, it's a possibility to, to just sell this market. Uh, we are technically still in a downtrend. This was probably mainly due to the US dollar appreciating um, and so on. So if you like these videos, you're welcome to subscribe to our channel by hitting the subscribe button here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button uh, to see our newest videos. Uh, good luck and happy trading.